Welcome to another Procrastination Pictures Gastronomic Alchemy video. Today's project is a bacon spiral made using transglutaminase, aka meat glue. The first step of this process is to lay all of your bacon out flat on a sheet pan and not overlapping. Next, place some transglutaminase, Activa GS, from the Edge and Emoto Company into a shaker container. You may use it straight out of the bag, but it is important to know that transglutaminase can be somewhat dangerous. As it is a protein binder, it could do serious damage to you if not handled properly. Notice my gloved hands. Shake the transglutaminase onto one side of the bacon generously and spread evenly over the bacon. Refill the shaker if necessary. Shake the excess transglutaminase from each slice of bacon as you lift it off the sheet pan. Begin by rolling the first piece of bacon around itself into a cylindrical shaped object. Then continue this pattern wrapping each piece of bacon around the last until you are finished. I rubbed a little of the transglutaminase from the sheet pan into the outside of my bacon roll to aid in the adhesion of the outside seams to work. Once you are finished, either wrap the bacon tightly in plastic wrap, as I do, or for an even denser and probably neater spiral, use a vacuum sealer to seal this bacon roll tightly. Place it in the refrigerator for at least six hours to overnight. Now that six hours has passed, we can remove the bacon roll from the refrigerator and inspect. Now this is pretty amazing. It is solid like a beef tenderloin. Notice the outside seam of the last piece of bacon how I can't even lift it up off of the previous layer of bacon. Now, begin slicing and inspect your beautiful spirals. Once slicing is finished, cook as you normally would. I suggest after attempting this that you utilize a cast iron fry pan or something metal and heavy to keep your bacon spirals from curling into bacon cups. They do not cook as even. Now that the bacon is done, we can assemble our finished product, and that is this amazing burger. On the seasoned burger patty, we have placed a bacon tomato jam, fresh homemade mozzarella, that's another set of videos, and the bacon spiral. Then we put it all on a delicious jalapeno white cheddar roll. Yum.